On your health cast today, as many as 900,000 Americans develop potentially deadly blood clots every year. 30% of them, they don't even know they have it. In today's health cast, we take a look at a new FDA approved approach to remove these clots before they can travel to your lungs. When Sean Chase started experiencing shortness of breath a few months ago, he thought he was just a little out of shape. It wasn't something that came on, you know, quickly. It wasn't like I woke up one day and just couldn't breathe. But when he started struggling with basic daily activities, he knew it was time to see a doctor. I started to see a heart doctor first. I did chest x-rays, but none of those showed what was really going on. What was really going on? Well, Sean had developed deep vein thrombosis, a condition that leads to clots in the leg, which can break off and travel to the lungs, and that can cause pulmonary embolism. And that what could be deadly. It's the third cause of death in the United States. Dr. Wail Tamim, a cardiothoracic surgeon with Broward it's Health Medical Center, convenient. determined that Sean was a good candidate for a procedure to retrieve the clot with an innovative thrombectomy device. This way is essentially an endovascular approach in which we go from the vein uh, to the IVC, which is a major vein, to the heart, and then from the heart reach to the, to the lungs, uh, reach to the artery there, and suction that clot out. The minimally invasive approach is done under sedation, eliminating the risk of general anesthesia. I think this new way is going to change the way we treat pulmonary emboli and will allow us to help a lot of patients. Sean is now on blood thinners and wears compression socks to reduce the risk of clot formation. I'm almost back to 100% of where I was before. I would say 90 plus. I feel amazing. He gave me my life back. The surgery gave me my life back. And that is awesome. Sean still has a clot in his leg that will have to be removed in upcoming procedures and medication should prevent a new clot forming.